Hello guys, welcome to Helpful Solutions and let's begin. So to do this, I have to go of course and select a range first. I want to choose these like that here, just like this. I'm going to filter these ones. After choosing my range like this, I can either just go select the whole column, just select them by control pressing on them or just hold the first one and go like this. After doing that, I will find the data ribbon that's at the top of the screen right next to formulas and review. It's only the fourth one after home. So one, two, three, four. And after coming in here, I will find the filter option. As you can see, there's a filter option you can turn on. And when you press the filter that's right next to the sorting, it will put on a filter for the whole range. That way when you press on it, you will open the filter options. You can also sort them. You can use numbers. You can just close some of them, many of them, none of them. That is up to your choosing. As you can see, I'm filtering some of them right now. Then I'm going to select all of them back to give them back. Maybe I can just make them largest to smallest, smallest to largest. I can sort by color, but they are all the same colored, so it wouldn't work. Or I can just not use number filters and do a top 10 and it will only show me the top 10 of them. And this is exactly how you filter. And of course, I hope this video helped you guys, because if it did, don't forget to give us a like and maybe subscribe to our channel, Savvy Professor. In any other case, we hope to see you in the next video as well. Have a great day and goodbye.